Hi guys, welcome back to SNT Networks. Today uh, we are on the fourth part of the series. So here we'll be basically talking about another interview question. Like three we have discussed before. So here the question is you are facing frequent disconnections from a server. How would you troubleshoot this? So today's question is you're facing frequent disconnections from a server and for this we will say it's server A. Okay. So here you're getting disconnections. Okay. So in the server you are uh, facing frequent disconnections. So what would be uh, uh, your basically steps as a network engineer in order to troubleshoot this? Okay. <laughs> now, uh, let's see. So just to explain this question better, what you would ask the interview is what sort of uh, disconnections are we getting? So if, if I am trying to fetch some file from the server and then, you know, while I'm getting the response, I'm getting some errors or uh, like what exactly is the issue? Right. So then they'll basically explain that uh, you're trying to fetch a file from the server and it's a large file just for example. Or it's a small file. Sometimes large files will have issues. Sometimes small files will have issues, right? So now let's start from the basics. Okay. So this is the server which is having issues. We'll just mark it with red. Okay. Now, in order to check what exactly could be the issue. Okay. First, you would see, you know, uh, you will basically start with. Uh, of uh, the first first step reachability so okay now you'll ask the you know interview for uh, reachability then the interview will be like see i am able to access it but i am getting frequent disconnections okay so <clears throat> for this one you know what would you basically be saying next is see I understand reachability but I what I understand by reachability is I'll put on a continuous ping okay I'll put on a continuous ping from client A to uh, what do you call to the server directly right so what process I follow is I ping from all the devices intermediate devices so usually there will be only two three so what I'll do is I'll put a continuous ping that is called ping hyphen T okay so I'll put a continuous ping from a from the default gateway and from the firewall and then I'll see where exactly I'm getting the issues if I'm getting issues in all three then the possible reason could be this link or server a if I'm getting issues okay this is a very uh, good thing okay I am asking you guys to note this down if I am getting issues while uh, you know basically going from the default gateway and no issue uh, and uh, what do you call I'm getting uh, issues while pinging from default gateway kind of with by continuous ping I mean but not from the firewall that means there is an issue with this link okay and same goes for uh, the what do you call uh, the PC if I'm pinging from PC and I'm getting issues but I'm not getting any issues at the firewall end or at the default gateway end on both the pings only this is the issue the, there could be an issue with the ACL or on the router okay or any client related issues so this is first thing how you'll narrow it down okay so if you're not getting any issues with ping then means then it means that you know there is something else which is causing the issue any protocol uh, you know ACLs ALG whatever is causing causing the issues to you then uh, there are two three commands for reachability that you'll check you'll do trace route okay and NS lookup just to check if there is any intermittent DNS issues okay you know I know uh, anyway that the IP will be uh, caged but still still sometimes we do NS lookup just to be uh, just to steer clear of the errors and trace route try to do it at the time of the error once you get the error quickly uh, you know have the trace route command handy just press enter and check where exactly is the you know issue failing then by the way the underlying thing is physical connectivity First you check the physical connectivity, then you check reachability, then you of in reachability you check ping, trace route, and NS lookup, right? And then what do you do? Uh, just to isolate the issue, try fetching some other file 
paste the same file in B. So now we have already stated that, you know, we have multiple files which are causing issues and it's from server A. So we will try to fetch another file, uh, probably the same file from server B. So once we try to do that and uh, do it for, uh, sorry, uh, do it for a couple of times. Check if we are getting any issues. If we are not getting any issues, then it's isolated that only issue is with server A. So you need to check all the policies in firewall related to server A. B is clear. Okay. This will help you narrow down the issue. Then you also need to basically, uh, now you have checked all this. Now what do you need to do? Now basically go in uh, firewall. Okay. Check for policy trace. Third one is policy trace. To check what exactly is the issue, like uh, to check which is the policy being implied, correct? And then the second one was uh, isolate the issue. Okay, that means we use server B and server C just to isolate if there's an issue with A only. And if we get the same error in B and C using the same policies, okay, then there are some policy issues with the firewall. Okay, then you check policy tracer. Then you uh, after this you will check you know, uh, logs, logs on the firewall and the router or the default gateway. Correct. Now, these are the basic troubleshooting part. Now we'll come to advanced troubleshooting. Now in this advanced troubleshooting, what you'll do is you'll check physical connectivity plus the device health, device health on both the system, both the systems. That means CPU, memory, size, space, like the space size and all of that. Okay, you'll check all of this. Then you'll check if there is any network issue in between, if there is any culprit, any switch in between which is causing the issues. Okay, then uh, <clears throat> then uh, what I would say is try to basically at the time of the issue, try to do uh, basically a port probe, okay, or an N map, correct? So fifth one is device health. Six one is port probe. You do a port probe or a device health check. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> now also try to check the latency. Once you try to ping at that time, you will see jitter. Try to also check the jitter. The seventh point would be jitter. Okay. The latency that you get. Correct. And uh, you will also check for advanced security details on both the ports. Okay. By advanced security, I mean, I'll just write ADV security. That basically is for DOS and DDoS attacks. Is something of that sort causing this? Okay. Then coming to the normal uh, <coughs> network connectivity, you will check VLAN, VLAN related issues. If there is any VLAN conflict when the traffic is coming back, or at that at the same time, if somebody else is using that sort of uh, Functionality. If there is an issue, then then you will, uh, then basically you will come on server A health. Okay, you will see how many users are connected, user number, how many users are connected, right? If that is causing the issue, so this is the way you will troubleshoot a frequently disconnection from a server. You will narrow it down from the logs, you know, from the device itself. And then, uh, you know, this will basically help you narrow it down to a certain device and then mitigate the issue, right? So this is how you will basically troubleshoot, uh, you know, when you are asked in an interview or when you will troubleshoot and how you will say that you will troubleshoot an issue. You know, when you're asked the question that you're facing frequent disconnections from a server, how would you troubleshoot this? So this was the fourth part of the series. We'll do one more and then we'll move on to some different technologies. You can, uh, you know, uh, help me out in the chat box if you want uh, me to create a video on something else. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.